right now. There they are. Can't help natural disasters going on. All right, so we're driving to FedEx to pick up a box of coral because they were supposed to be delivered today uh, and they weren't. Benefit of being able to go now after they're closed is I know someone who works there, used to be the local driver for where I work, and uh, they were able to go and find the box for me and they're hanging out till I get there. So uh, this is awesome. So anyway, let's get to the FedEx. Uh, FedEx station, let's do it. All right, here we go. Gonna be pulling up right now. There they are, FedEx. Uh, this is right by the airport in Salem, Oregon. Not too far, but uh, oh, that's him right there. Yep, yeah, FedEx hub. I gotta tell you what, it is awesome to know the drivers for these courier services. Uh, I've known the FedEx driver here for years. Um, and I guess he works at the facility now and still had his phone number, gave him a, a text, talked to him and all that stuff. And he was able to get the box for me. So uh, with all this crazy storm that's going across the U.S. right now, so many things are down and um, the box just got here late and um, don't want to risk it. So let's go home. Let's go get the coral in the tank. We made it home. Wow. What a drive. But we got the coral. Let's check them out. Here is the box. And uh, let's see, first time ordering from these guys. Heat pack is warm, that is great, considering that it is late getting to me. Not their fault, it's, you know, FedEx, but even it's really not their fault. I can't help natural disasters going on. But uh, here we go, we got two pieces of coral here. Let's get them in the tank. So we made it home, as you guys can see, the coral are right here and they have temperature acclimated to the water in this tank. So now what we're gonna do is get them out, open them up and start getting them to drip acclimate. Right here in this small little container. Part of all the cleanup I have been having to do with all of the ice storm stuff is this. Part of the cleanup from that ice storm we had is all of this stuff. Like you can see, broken branch, you can see if you look up there, there's a lot of broken stuff. Let's walk around over here. If you look up there, like that piece there, it's halfway broken. They call those widow makers because they could fall at any time. You can see that, that piece right there is going back there. So there's some spots that we need to get rid of like there's another one right there because we don't want these to fall on people so got a got a knot tied here so this is gonna be tight on there which is that piece and if you look it isn't fully broken off so I'm hoping my truck's gonna be able to pull it off we're gonna see if the truck can pull that off one of those guys up there So you can see this here. Uh, this is a whole mess 
uh, branches and stuff that broke out of the trees. I mean, this is some heavy, heavy stuff. Um, this, I mean, this is a, a big, big pile. Then we got all this in the truck, burn pile. But uh, we'll step back here to give you an idea of just how much branches there are and how big they are. So my truck is a short bed four door. And you can see that the branches are the same length as my truck, give or take. Use four wheel drive. Got them pulled out. Let's go. I'll show you guys where we uh, where we got them from. So had to drive through this. Uh, super wet over here, so uh, easy to sink. But uh, four wheel drive, you get through this no problem. And that tree right there, whole bunch of stuff fell out of that. So drag that all the way over here. If we zoom out, um, it's quite a bit of ways. Dragged it all the way through here up to there. So, doing another burn pile. Look at that. That's all just from the energy in this burn pile. I got the blower on over here, but it's not even blowing this way. You can just see how insane that uh, energy is that's being produced. Look at this. It is time to do a little bit of B-roll on the new corals. This is what the next coral looks like when it is closed up. This is an alveopora. Enjoy everybody. tell you it sure does pay off to know who the drivers are in your local area if it wasn't for me knowing the FedEx driver probably would not have caught that package so definitely a cool thing to get to know the driver in your area when you're buying things like this so if something goes on you can get in touch with them but awesome uh, I'm glad I was able to pick them up and these new corals are gonna be awesome that alveopora is just mint that thing is so awesome and as it continues to settle in it's gonna just get bigger and better and all that good stuff so this is gonna be awesome cannot wait to show you guys the coral later on once they settle on in I am thinking of possibly changing my channel name again this is something that has come up before and because of my absence of late I think that maybe thinking of changing it might be a good idea so in the comment section down below let me know what you all think should I change it if so 
throw some suggestions down there because if it's going to happen, I'm going to do it slowly. You know, I'm going to keep my avatar and just really start announcing, hey, I'm planning on changing my name. This is what we're looking at. So if I do change the name, people know the avatar will still be there and then they'll notice the name change, but they'll know it's still me because of the avatar, all that other stuff. So anyway, it's possibly a big process. Other big YouTubers have done it. Mr. Beast has done it before. So anyway, let me know down below what you guys think of that, what you think of the coral, and just, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for tuning into the video. We'll talk to you guys next time. Stay tanked.